In question number five, we're told the polynomial p of x is given by p of x is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 18. In part A for two marks, we're asked to use the remainder theorem to find the remainder when p of x is divided by x plus 1. All we need to do here is p of minus 1. We'll have minus 1 cubed minus 4 lots of minus 1 squared minus 3 lots of minus 1 plus the 18. This will give me minus 1, minus 4, plus 3, and then plus the 18. So we've got 21 minus the 5, which is going to give us now 16. So we can say that when p of x is divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 16. In part b, the first part for two marks asks us to use the factor theorem to show that x minus 3 is a factor of p of x. What we can state then is p of 3 will be equal to 0 if x minus 3 is a factor. So if x minus 3 is a factor, then p of 3 will be equal to 0. So let's go ahead and find p of 3. We're going to have now 3 to the power of 3, which is 27, minus 4 lots of 3 to the power of 2, which is going to give me 9, minus 3 lots of 3 plus 18. So we're going to end up now with 27 minus 36 minus 9 plus 18. So 18 and 27 are 45, minus the 45, and this now will give us 0. Therefore, now we can say x minus 3 is a factor. So all we've done is simply gone ahead and evaluated p of 3 and shown it's naught. In now the second part for 3 marks, we need to express p of x as a product of linear factors. Now what we know is that x minus 3 is one of the linear factors. So what I'm going to do is set up an identity. I'm going to say x minus 3 multiplied by some quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c and setting up the identity will now be equal to x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 18. You can of course use polynomial long division if you like. So if we now consider terms in x cubed, and I'm just going to jot these here, so terms in x cubed, we're going to have now ax cubed will be equal to 1x cubed, so we can see that a is equal to 1. If we now consider terms in x squared, so terms in x squared, we're going to have now minus 3a, and we're going to have now plus b, and that will be equal to minus 4. So we can say minus 3 lots of 1 plus b is equal to minus 4, so we can see that b is equal to minus 1. So we've got b is minus 1, we've got a is 1, if we look now at the constant, just jotting down the constant, minus 3c is equal to 18, therefore c is equal to minus 6. So this is one of the many ways that you can do it. I've just equated coefficients by setting up an identity. So what we'll have then is p of x, so we can write p of x will be equal now to this linear factor, multiplied by the quadratic factor of x squared minus x minus 6. We can go ahead and factor this yet again. We've got now x squared minus x minus 6, so we could write this as x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 3 multiplied now by x plus 2. They want it as a product of three linear factors. You could, of course, write this as x minus 3 all squared multiplied by x plus 2. So that's what we have, product of three linear factors, just here. OK, in part C, we're asked to sketch the curve with equation y is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 18, stating the value of x where the curve meets the x-axis. The question carries three marks, and it's a cubic equation. We're going to have now a repeated root at x is equal to 3, so we're going to touch now the axis. So if I put this just here, we're going to have now this point right here, 3, 0, 
and we're going to have this point which is going to be now minus 2 comma 0. We're going to have a positive cubic curve which comes now from the third quadrant. We come up now through this point right here. We're going to turn round and just touch the axis at 3 comma 0 and then it will increase through the first quadrant. So that's what we have now. We're asked to state the values of x where the curve meets the x-axis. We're not asked for this point right here. We're not asked for the y-intercept. That's fairly straightforward. That's when x is naught. So this point would be 0, 18. We're not asked for that, and we can simply leave it like so. So what we'll have now are the points minus 2 and positive 3 for our points now where the curve meets the x-axis.